In a world where technology is playing an increasingly important role, robot dogs are no longer just a product of science fiction. They have become an essential part of modern military strategies. A prime example is Spot from Boston Dynamics, a highly mobile machine capable of operating in the harshest environments. These robot dogs are not just support tools. They have the potential to completely change the way warfare is conducted in the future. But the question remains, can they truly replace or assist soldiers in brutal battles? Will these steel warriors become the sharp tip of the spear, or are they merely temporary tools? Robot dogs bring several advantages over real dogs in warfare. They can operate continuously without fatigue, unaffected by extreme weather conditions or harsh environments. With advanced sensor systems, robot dogs have the ability to detect and identify threats and targets accurately in any conditions. Equipped with cameras, radar, and thermal sensors, they can spot targets from afar without needing close contact. Moreover, robot dogs can traverse complex terrains such as rocky hills, dense forests, or even toxic areas without the risk of injury or illness. They can perform rescue missions without needing rest or recovery. Without fear or pain, they will execute dangerous tasks with high efficiency without any reduction in performance. Robot dogs are also capable of carrying cargo, assisting with logistics, and coordinating with other technologies like drones and combat robots, creating a flexible and effective combat network. Unlike real dogs, robot dogs don't get sick and are always ready to be reused after each mission. This is why robot dogs could become a powerful and reliable weapon on the modern battlefield. When robot dogs become attack warriors. But what happens if robot dogs are no longer just support tools but become attack warriors? In the future, these robot dogs will not only be companions, they will become ruthless warriors equipped with devastating weapons. With their ultra-durable steel armor, they could carry many nuclear bombs, homemade mines, laser cutting tools, and rocket launchers capable of precisely targeting key enemy positions. When the command to attack is given, these dogs charge into the battlefield like tireless fighting machines. Bombs explode, mines scatter, and lasers burn through everything in their path. Before the enemy can even react, they are wiped out by the overwhelming destructive force. Thick smoke, deafening explosions, and a scene of devastation are all that remains. These robot dogs feel no pain, have no fear. They are weapons that cannot stop. When they charge into battle, the war is forever changed, where strength no longer belongs to humans, but to these unrelenting steel warriors. The future. Can robot dogs completely replace real dogs? Debates about replacing real dogs with robots in the military are still ongoing. Real dogs possess survival instincts and the ability to emotionally connect with humans, traits that robot dogs may never fully replace. But when it comes to performance and continuous operation in harsh environments, robot dogs could very well be the future of modern warfare. So, can there come a day when real dogs are nothing more than a memory in military strategies? Will the battlefield of the future be populated solely by tireless robot dogs, replacing everything real dogs can do? Some experts argue that although robot dogs may perform better and more consistently, can they truly replace the instinctive abilities and emotional intelligence that real dogs bring in search and rescue, detection, and reconnaissance missions? We stand on the cusp of a revolution in warfare. Robot dogs may be the perfect replacement for physical warriors, but can they replace the very soul of war, where fighting is not just about tools, but about sacrifice and camaraderie? The future of warfare may see a combination of humans and machines, where warriors don't just walk on two legs, but also have four steel limbs. But as steel warriors replace humans and real dogs, Will we still recognize war as a battle full of emotion and humanity? Or will it become a cold, mechanical clash between machines?